what separates California from the rest of the regions in the hip hop is because you know we got we got a lot of light in Los Angeles and the Bay Area, well populated, big area. We got Hollywood out here, so it's a lot of film recording entities out here in California that might not be in Nevada, that might not be in Arizona, that might not be you know in some of the other states. California is really known to be beautiful and. Uh Got palm trees and uh, pretty women and you know, nice cars and stuff, but uh, it's, 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 it's deeper than that. The mentality is a lot stronger than that, and you know, there's areas like this that people don't even know exist. I think we we originators of a lot of the slang that come out. That's what make us special too. A lot of slang, a lot of swag. We we originated that, so that's what made California, all the West Coast, very important and different. So you know, California is the prime place for West Coast hip hop. And you do know that. What makes California unique and separate is the fact that, and a lot of people, you know, they say this word like it's negative, but it's very positive. You know, we have Hollywood out here, which means we're we're born star star studded. I was born in Philadelphia. I've I've seen the difference between the East and the West, and when I came to the West Coast, it was star studded. So what makes us different? Is, is not just the music, it's our mentality, which influences our music. We're about reality. We are about uh, live instrumentation. We are about uh, music that shifts entire genres. The, what, what sets Cali from, from all the other places, I just think we're trendsetters in our own way. You know, we, we, we kind of had the first right to, to the real gangster rap. If, if, if you go back and you look at rap, how it was, and how it came out before it was it was it was good rap it was about partying it was about breaking dancing and all that and then when you when you heard that movement from cali like when, when nwa came it was it was it was on some you know bump the police and and a ball and it, it turned to some street stuff it was more gangster what's unique about california and west coast hip-hop in particular is that there's tradition involved and unlike fads that go in and out is certain traditions and certain standards that always exist in the west coast and uh i don't think it's because it's just you know we're not open to any anything else because other entities and other identities do exist in the west coast but there's certain traditions that stand behind the music that come from the west coast and i don't think that's going to change anytime soon First off, we got our own swag, we got our own movement, we got our own uh, uh, lingo, you feel me? We Everything that we do, it seems to get duplicated or copied. It get copied because you can't get duplicated, but it get copied by other regions, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the, you know, California was the first one to start with the gangster rap. Needless to say, the whole world and took over on that. California was the first place that started independent records, independent grind. Needless to say, the rest of the world got hold of that. I think what separates California from a lot of other regions is that, uh, the swagger here gets jacked the most out of any other region. I mean, like, a lot of people want to get that Cali swag in their life. Um, I think that also the storytelling is a little more authentic. I think that when you, when, you, when you listen to some California music, you really get a sense of the lifestyle. It kind of engulfs you in it. Only thing close to that would be like a Scarface record, because Scarface can also take you there too. And when you look at the Bay in L.A., you know, the L.A. is gangsters and the Bay is hustlers, you know. So they just two different, two different things, you know. People getting a hustling lifestyle up here. In the Bay, they get, I mean, in L.A., they're more gangster lifestyle. They, they integrated the whole gang culture, as they knew it, into the music. And, you know, keep in mind, L.A. is not the only place where we've had gangs. You know, Chicago has the older gangs, but... You never really saw that reflected in the music. You didn't sit up there and be like Vice Lords, Disciples, El Rukins, or whatever. You know, um, the fact that I can go to New York and see Crips and Bloods, and that was influenced by stuff that came out of here, you know, for better or for worse, is, is, is what, you know, that's, that Cali had a lot to do with that, you know, in terms of people picking up that, um, that voice and that narrative and adapting to it, even though the Phillies and Detroits and everybody else had their own sets. It just never blew up the way it did in Cali. I think a lot of Cali rappers that's successful from Ice Cube, Snoop, uh, Exhibit, King T, I mean, Toddy T, they talking about stuff that was really going on in the hood. I mean, you listen to the Batarang, 
you know that was some real talk these was what the police was doing they was have they couldn't get into these these rock houses so they had to go invent something called the battle ram to knock your house knock your doors in your house down to get in yeah i feel california is different from every other region in hip-hop because um basically all the other major markets it's the only place where like you know like the system ain't really ain't really uh got a lot of people that's from where the music is made, you know what I'm saying, calling the shots, you know what I'm saying, like say friends like in down south or the east coast or at radio stations across the country, this is the only place where like, you know what I'm saying, like where the, the DJs at the radio station won't even be from California, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, it, it, it won't even be people that like even into the music that's made in the street, you know what I'm saying. The real separation of California from, you know, every other place when it comes to hip hop is that we got a real diversity of, of styles and sounds in one in one location. So, you know, you might have somebody as uh, you know as diverse as 40 doing one style, I'm doing another style, short doing another style. You wouldn't be able to say necessarily if you listen to uh, our complete body of work like this is that sound because our sounds change depending on the year, the time, the place, and what's going down. We come with so many different langos. And if you listen to the rap game, you hear the langos. You know what I mean? Basically, it's real, it's real gutter out here. You know what I mean? Hyphy slash uh, playeristic, you know what I'm saying? People like my uncle Philmo Slim, Max Julian, Goldie the Mac. I think basically what separates it is uh, this that California lifestyle, man. From my point of view, the thing that distinguishes LA from other places. It's just more so that, you know, the southern part of California just has a more, the weather is a lot different, so, so it brings out a more laid back, you know, vibe and, and, and more so a classic style because LA has like been around for a while. Not that other places haven't, but just it's generations in LA. And if it's not your family, it was, you know, people that was there long before you that you have to draw over. And just like culture is real, real, real important to LA. You know, it's a lot of originality, but at the same time, it just keeps recycling itself. Like things that your grandfather wore, you start wearing. You know, you don't realize it when you're that young, but you know, things that your uncle wore, you start wearing. And it just keeps going like that. Well, the first thing I want to say is the game. You know what I mean? And when I say the game, I'm, I mean that, you know, it's the life. It, it, it's the life of players, Max, you know, and uh, real pimps, man. You know what I mean? And I chose to rap about this and make this my career, you know, and, and be as vivid as I could doing it. Well you, well, you know, I took this straight from the sidewalk, you know, to the stage, you know. And, you know, hopefully I could take it somewhere else, you know, bigger and better. You know what I mean? So. You know, uh, I do respect the game.